Hi, I'm Justine, one of the co-founders of Learn and Live Letter Homeschooling Company. Today, we're going to be doing a read aloud of the book, Who Wants to Be a Princess? What It Was Really Like to Be a Medieval Princess by Bridget Hayos, illustrated by Miggy. This book is part of our Castles Unit. If you have any questions about the Castles Unit or Learn and Live Letter in general, we'll put links in the description of this video and we hope you'll check us out. Now let's get started with our book. Psst, you in your tiara and twirly dress. You look like you're dreaming of being a princess like Cinderella or Snow White or Sleeping Beauty. But those are fairy tale princesses. How would you like to be a very real princess from the Middle Ages, like me, Beatrice? Let me tell you about my day versus a fairy tale day. In a fairy tale, the castle may look like this, but my castle is plain. It's like a little village with people baking bread and brushing horses and knights standing guard. That smell, it's from the moat. It's full of potty water and garbage. It's perfect for keeping out unwanted visitors. But kiss a frog that's been swimming in that water? I don't think so. You might picture my room as pink and fluffy. Really, it's dark and made of stone. And it's not just a princess room. All the royal kids in the castle sleep here. It's like a slumber party every day. We don't have glass windows, only wooden shutters. In the winter, we close them tight. So we awake in darkness and dress by candlelight. Do you share a room with your brother or sister? Well, if you do, you're just like Beatrice. You might expect me to wear a beautiful gown. That's only for special occasions. For ordinary days, I wear itchy wool and no tiara. Crowns are only for really special occasions, like when my mom and dad became king and queen. Time to start the day. In stories, girls may trot off to Princess Charm School, but I'm already charming and I don't go anywhere for school. The other royal children and I have a tutor who lives within the castle walls. He, teach, he teaches us French, mon ami. That's French for my friend. Do you go to school in a building or do you go to school at home like Beatrice? Now it's time to frolic in the forest. That's princess for play. I bet you think I sing la 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 to the forest animals and that they sing back. Please, this is the real world. I practice riding and archery. Lunchtime. Finally, I get to see mother and father. They're usually busy bossing around their subjects. You may have seen paintings of us dining at the high table, and we do, but our food may surprise you. It certainly does us. We're having peacock. The cook has replaced its head with a wild boar's head. On the side, pies filled with birds. Four and 20 blackbirds have escaped and are flying overhead. It may sound like a nursery rhyme, but the cook really makes this dish for our amusement. Huzzah! We rarely sweep. Bones, grease, and crumbs, and now bird dew, pile up on the floor. Rats are everywhere. We'd prefer they leave, but what can we do? Other than tidy up, I mean. Princess cupcakes for dessert? If only. After lunch, we eat aged cheese. That means old cheese. It's a delicacy, not to mention a smellicacy. By now, you must be wondering, when is the fancy fairy tale ball? Me too. We have dances only on holidays or when we have royal guests. On ordinary days, we do quiet things like embroider. Do you ever have quiet afternoons? What do you do on quiet afternoons? 
you do crafts and projects like Beatrice? As the sun sets, we dine again. We often have visitors. In stories, an evil queen might come to cast a dastardly spell. But in real life, it's just traveling jugglers and a sappy troubadour singing love songs. One day, a prince really will sweep me away, but he might not be charming or handsome. I may not even know him. My parents will choose him. We'll marry when we're about 12. I hope we like each other, even if he does look funny and act goofy. It's dark now. At a fairy tale park, the castle would light up the night sky. Knights would guard against dragons or evil wizards. But we have no lights. In the darkness, people sleep everywhere. Servants rest beside their work because they have no rooms of their own. And the real danger is from armies who might try to overtake our castle in the dark. I snuggle into my bed when I'm afraid. Not a fairy tale bed like this, but an ordinary bed like this one. My sister tells me a story about a princess far, far away. I fall asleep. And dream of being you. Author's note. In this story, Princess Beatrice is a fictional medieval princess. The Middle Ages, or medieval times, lasted from CE 500 to CE 1500. That's 1,000 years. A lot changed during that time. This book describes what life would have been like for a princess who lived around 1100 to 1300 in what is now Great Britain. Every castle was different, but typically a castle was a collection of buildings surrounded by castle walls. Sometimes a moat encircled the castle to discourage invading armies. As the years passed, castles became more comfortable Still, the royalty eventually chose to live in palaces and great houses instead of drafty old castles. Royal children like Beatrice lived at home until they were about seven. Then they might have gone to serve at another castle or when the girls were 12 or older to marry a prince or duke. Their parents arranged these marriages for political gain, but the princesses often had some say. Nobody wanted the prince and princess to dislike each other, though that sometimes happened. Life as a princess was in some ways glamorous, but as you can see, there were difficulties and dangers that came with being royalty. And princesses often had to make decisions based on duty rather than on their hopes and dreams. We hope you've enjoyed this read aloud of Who Wants to Be a Princess? What it was really like to be a medieval princess. If you have any questions about our castle unit or you want to know more about Learn and Live, click below. You can also like and subscribe to get more read alouds from us. Thanks for watching!